Hey, are you working 50, 60, 70 hours a week and you're just tired of it? Well, let's talk about this. Hey, badass business owner. If you are like most business owners I know, you are working some crazy freaking hours. You are working 50, 60, 70, sometimes 80 hours a week on your business and there seems to be no end in sight. Well, let me tell you something. First off, we do it to ourselves. You know what? We're working hard because we love what it is that we do. We love helping others. Uh, or we also just need some money. We need the money and our business is going great. Our business is growing faster than we ever thought um, we could ever accomplish. You know, we, we get a high off of it. We love it. We're, we're beating our chest saying, oh my God, I'm all that in a bag of chips. Look how hard I work. I actually know somebody, a business owner who brags about the number of days in a row that he works. That's how passionate we are about our business. And what happens is we keep working harder and harder and harder and harder. But here's the thing. You also give up a lot by working those many hours. And we need to talk about the fact that, you know what, you don't need to be working 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week to make the same profits that you make today. You actually can make more profits in your business by working less hours. Have you ever wondered why some of the business owners that you know in your area don't work as hard as you do, but they seem to be making more money? Well, they've cracked the code. They've realized that they have to work differently than what it is they do today. Now, in order for you to get off of this crazy train, a couple things have to be true. First off, you have to believe in your gut that you can accomplish just as much as you are today in less hours, that you can do it with less time. And part of the problem is you have convinced yourself that you have to work all these hours in order to make everything happen. And the reality is you don't have to work all those hours to get it done. There's some broken pieces in your business. There's some broken processes. There's some broken things that are causing you to do this with but in the reality is, is if you can actually kind of step off the crazy train for a moment and see it, you're going to find that just with some tweaks, you're going to be able to pull those hours back. And it may, will you go from 70 hours a week down to 40 hours a week? Eventually, but that's not what this is about. I don't want you thinking you're going to go from 70, 80 hours a week, all of a sudden down to 40. But what I am telling you is what if I could give you back five hours a week? What if we can get you 10 hours a week, 15 hours a week? Is it worth you at least pursuing this? And the answer is going to be yes, because here's what's happening. Your broken processes and systems are killing you. All right. At the end of the day, you're getting all kinds of calls, emails. You're, you're not only out there doing the job of what it is you need to get done. When you get done, you have all this stuff waiting for you. You have all these people to call back, all this paperwork to do, this billing to get out. And you know, it's just, it's driving you crazy. It's driving you bonkers. And the problem is, once again, it comes down to to systems. You are wasting time throughout the day as well. You are spending time going back and forth and crisscrossing each other. And how many times have you gotten to the job site only to find out you have to go back again to go get materials? Maybe you got to go back to Home Depot or go back to your office or go back to, to go get something. How many times are we wasting time? How much of your time is spent actually in there with your own hands making things happen versus spending time outside of the business working on the business. These are all the things that are, are killing you right now. All right. There's things that you are doing that someone else should be doing. You know what? If you're spending all of your time on tasks that you could hire someone to do for 10, 15 bucks an hour, as opposed to you doing it, instead of you being out there working on the stuff that's going to make you um, way more than that. Okay. You need to be working on the $50 an hour stuff, not on the 10, $15 an hour stuff. There's so many different things. This video could be huge and be long, but that's not what my plan is. My plan is for you to first identify that you have a problem. Okay. That you have this problem and that you're working way too much on the business. Think about it. You are leaving even more money on the table because you are working so many hours. And you, how many times have you just said to yourself, oh my gosh, I can't take on any more business right now. Okay. You are missing business because you're so busy. Okay. You're missing emails. You're missing phone calls. You're not getting back to people. Those are people with money in hand that are now walking away because you can't get to them. So see working 50, 60, 70 hours is not the solution. Okay. Because you can't, you're only one person. There's only so many hours in the day. You can't keep working more and more and more and more thinking you're going to make more money. That's not the way it works. It's not about more hours. It's about what you spend your hours doing. 
Okay. Sometimes less is more. Maybe you need to figure out how do you run more efficiently? Everything comes back to your processes. Okay. Everything comes back to the way that you do things. Everything comes back to the way that you price things. Maybe you're too cheap. You know, there's so many times when people go, oh, everybody wants something cheap. Well, you know what? One of the best ways to slow down your business is to raise your prices. So now you don't have to work 50 million hours, but you also put more money to the bottom line. And what's funny is that your business continues to grow because once you do great quality and you do fantastic customer service, word gets out there. People will spend more for that. Your business will continue to grow. Okay. A lot of times when people start their business, they start off dirt cheap and the business grows and grows and grows and grows. And the reality is, is they never stop back and they don't reset and they don't fix some of the things in order to be able to do it. So there's so many different reasons out there that are causing you to work 50, 60, 70 hours. And one of my missions, one of my goals is we're going to continue to make some videos that are going to help you get your time under control. This is all about time and it's where you spend your time. And what we need to do is we need to get you focused on the right things so you don't have to work all of those hours, but at the same time, you can get the same profits that you're getting today working less hours. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the sales. It's not about that top line. It's about that bottom line, which is why I'm always stressing you understanding your business numbers. All right. So it's not a badge of honor for you to be working 50, 60, 70, 80 hours. I'm a workaholic myself. I also work tons of hours. There's a difference of I love what it is that I do and I have to work all of these hours because if you have to work all these hours, there's usually a broken process somewhere in there that you need to be able to fix. And if you just did it or you just got the help that you needed to do it, you know, and, and it's a self-fulfilling thing. I get it. I totally get it because you don't have time to find the help that's going to help you get the thing off. Everything comes down to time. I don't have the time to do, that sounds great, Tammy. Everything's awesome, but I don't have the time. I get it, but we've got to try and find a way because I'm telling you, your life is not going to change until you make some of those changes within your business. At the end of the day, I understand why you're working all those hours, but I also understand that you know what? You can't keep waking up every single day. You can't keep getting home late every single night. You can't keep spending your entire day going from customer to customer to customer and, and calling people back and answering these emails and, and turning around and, and, and going to finally falling to sleep late at night. And then the alarm going off early in the morning and you restarting that groundhog day all over again. You know, we've got to figure out how to slow this down. All right. So I love the fact that you're passionate about what you're doing. I love the fact that you've built this amazing business, but let's work together on finding different solutions to help you claim back your time. So you're not working 50 million hours a week. Make sure you hit subscribe and you join the channel. And I'm going to continue to put together some videos to help you guys gain back your time again. So this way you can run a business that's smarter, not harder, and that we can start finding ways to increase your bottom line, not necessarily your top line. Don't get me wrong. I want you to make as many sales as you can possibly do, but it's also extremely important that we increase that bottom line uh, because it's about what you keep, not necessarily what you take in it, but it's what you keep at the end of the day. All right. So with that, make sure you hit subscribe and I will talk to you on the next video. Make sure you watch some. We got some good stuff out there.